hair one of the biggest concern today sometimes i think it even takes more importance than skin itself why not it's the crowning glory so three most important things that about hair which irritates or is a concern for all of us one of course is the scalp a dandruff which never seems to leave us sometimes it comes season after season and even in the season no matter what you do can be quite a chronic irritation problem and two hair itself hair fall who hasn't had hair fall young old man woman curly hair straight hair no matter who you are you've always had hair fall at some point of your life and it's quite irritating and you wonder what to do and the third is hair itself the texture of hair one of you sitting and listening to this video or watching this video please tell me who hasn't had a frizzy hair day not me i am sure all of you will kind of connect with this as well right so oiling is one of the many many remedies for hair care and one of the very traditional old remedies and the ones who know me you all know me whether it is traditional medicine or modern medicine whether it is naturopathy or allopathy as long as it is science backed and comes from proper scientific research i believe in it and i believe in blending all the sciences to give the best to you in terms of outcome that you're looking at So here I found a set of oils from a company called Brillier where they have 100% natural oil blends for various concerns of yours. Today we're going to talk about three such oil shots that they have. One for hair fall, one for dandruff and one for hair texture itself. When we talk about texture no matter whether it feels rough, dull or frizzy, one most important thing is hydration. So we'll talk about those hydrating oils in that particular blend. So keep watching. So hair fall is the first one that we should discuss only because hair fall is not just a problem but can be very very stressful and traumatic to people who are experiencing it which might be a whole lot of us but for some people it's beyond control. So therefore I believe in trying to do everything that we can what I call it as all guns blazing when we approach a hair fall patient right? So if the if you are the ones who have already visited my clinic you know how I believe and explain to you in what I'm going to do and how it's going to work. So three things that I really want to uh, want you to understand how we approach hair fall. One is you have to increase the blood supply to the scalp because that's what brings the nutrients to the scalp isn't it? Then the hair grows better. So that's something that we really look at. Number 2 you try and stop everything that's damaging your hair. whether it is an oxidative damage or it is any hormones that is actually causing your hair to fall like DHT dihydrotestosterone i'm sure you all have heard it it could be in male pattern hair fall it could also be a reason when female pattern hair fall it can also be a reason for hair fall when you have PCOS so it could be a reason of hair fall across the board so it's important for us to look for something which kind of holds it down or suppresses it or reduces the sensitization of it so that's what's very important for us and then three of course is to then stimulate the hair so the hair has now kind of gotten damaged is falling now you're trying to improve the blood circulation you're trying to cut the damage and then you now stimulate for growth right so these are the three things we work no matter which medicine or which science you come from this is the aim of treating hair fall So here is this blend of oils that I was talking which they are called as oil shots. Aren't they really really interesting? So they have this well measured meter dose of their blend of again 100% pure natural oils. And uh, it is very easy. If you look at these shots, they're very interesting. You flip open this black cap. Oh my god. Honestly, it smells so good very stimulating very invigorating really smells good and then it has got these little dispensers that you kind of cap it on it so it ends up looking like this and then you use this as a dropper to open up your hair and drop it all along the hairline make sure the entire scalp is covered and then you end up massaging it with absolutely your fingertips because you don't want to ruffle up my hair which is already weak you don't want to disturb or irritate the hair follicles and hair roots so you massage with your fingertips and you do a nice small little circles 
and then massage over whatever five ten minutes or use it as a bonding exercise ask your mama to massage ask your daughter to massage or ask your help at home to massage so that really really makes also adds to the blood circulation also adds to the stimulation but make sure it's really gentle and leave it for as long as you want the longer the better yeah now what is in it that i really like so much three main ingredients one of course is coffee so coffee is something which is used internationally even in hair fall shampoos because it's very stimulatory so it kind of stimulates your hair growth it is it is more uplifting so like it lifts your spirits up because it is stimulatory right so likewise it is stimulatory no matter where you use it whether you use it as a shampoo or in an oil blend the second ingredient is onions oh now do i have to talk about it no all of us have googled about it because there's been bloggers and experts and everyone who's been talking about onion juice lately so this has onion extracts in it which is rich in sulfur that's what makes onion juice so interesting and so popular and sulfur is one of the ingredient which actually helps in a lot of enzymatic reactions in the body helps build and a component of a lot of amino acids and what are amino acids protein right and what is hair protein keratin it is protein so therefore it really helps build repair and nourish your hair to get back to a much much better condition and then it has an ingredient called as basil a basil all of you know whether you are an ayurveda fan naturopathy fan or an english medicine fan or a french pharmacy fan you will know basil is one ingredient everybody loves it's great as an anti inflammatory it's great as an anti oxidant so it cuts down the inflammatory damage cuts down the oxidative damage and it is also very stimulating for your hair follicles and hair root so therefore the blend of these three ingredients and in a natural form in natural oils and like i said base of coconut oil which actually helps it penetrate deeper and work where it should is something that i thought was very 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 interesting now once you take care of the hair and the hair fall what's most important is the hair texture and that is one thing i have also personally used when i did get the samples initially and i must tell you my treated hair feels a lot softer because of that and that's what i'm going to talk to you next so the one we're going to talk now is about hair texture so all of us no matter what kind of hair you have long or short have had textural issues right now what makes the hair frizzy or look rough or feel rough there are two things we mostly believe it's probably lack of oil or lack of hydration lack of water right what's also important is to understand the capacity of the hair to hold the water or oil back is equally important even if you give it all the hair oil and water that you can and what makes that capacity is the protein itself or the keratin itself on the hair so the hair is literally like a tree bark with the bark tightly closed on all ends if it is fully tightly closed the light reflects easily and it holds the water back really well so hair looks hydrated and shiny but if the bark is not let's say tightly closed and the keratin is opening up everywhere it feels rough it looks rough the light gets scattered so it doesn't even look shiny and then the hair shaft is porous now so it loses all its own hydration and oils as well so it's important for us to heal the hair shaft and to close those pores close those pores and cover the shaft how do you do that of course with the oils that i have so this again is the shot of oils that we have which is that was a hair booster this is the dandruff but this one is the one for texture comes with eight vials like that and the blend of three fantastic oils one is argan oh my god we all know argan oil right we use it as post bath we use it as pre bath international national every company uses argan oil we know it all and then there is shea nut oil and soybean oil all three oils of course have one thing in common they all have the essential fatty acids that's required to give you the nourishment hydration and the oil that the hair needs but what is also interesting is shea nut oil has vitamin e again a fantastic nourishment oil for skin and then the soybean oil has amino acids in it now that is what is going to repair your shaft that is what is going to help seal the shaft and seal the pores and contain the oil and hydration so therefore for me this blend was super super interesting 
So I chose to actually start off with this blend. So I did it, I used it for around, I think five, six shots is what I used. And I definitely found difference in my texture. And you know, I'm the hair queen, right? Curly hair, straight hair, short hair, long hair. I've had it all. So I've done million hair treatments for the texture itself. And therefore my hair is very porous. Innately it's porous because it's a curly South Indian frizzy hair. But then I've added to all the trouble by doing all the chemical treatments. So that is what really helped. I can now feel nice. Like this is the first day after I washed my hair. You know how first two hours it even feels more frizzier. But actually it's feeling nice. So I won't tell you when to use it. You could use it alternate day. You could use it every day. You could apply it liberally all over your hair shaft. Remember till the end of the hair. You could even wrap it with a warm towel. That might help the penetration even better. And some of you, depending on the hair texture, where you start from, can get results within five days, one day, two day, or for a month's application. But the blend is really beautiful. And again, like I said, a lot of scientific work has gone into this blend because I can see that. It's not just the hydrating oils. It also the reparative substances that they have really taken care of. So this for me is a fantastic one. Shot, oil shot, and uh, that's a good shot at it. So the last one, of course, is scalp care, or rather specifically dandruff care. So the blend in this is, again, celery, neem, and tea tree. Celery oil particularly is very hydrating, but it also is rich in vitamin A. And why do we need vitamin A? So let me give you a little backdrop on dandruff. So what is dandruff? It's an yeast, right? It's an yeast which is already there in your scalp, like we call it as commensal. But then, in certain conditions, could be stress, could be irritation, could be some other inflammation, drives this yeast to kind of multiply even more. And what does this yeast thrive on? Fatty acids or the secretions of your own scalp, the oily secretions of your scalp. So therefore, we have to take care of two things. One, bring down the oily secretion of the scalp. Two, try and keep the yeast under control. So therefore, the ingredients make a lot of sense. So celery has vitamin A, which of course keeps the cell multiplication under control, the oiliness under control. Therefore, that's taken care of. Then you have neem, which of course is very, very rich. We have had neem oil, we've had neem leaf rub on our faces. We've had all that, right, at various stages of our lives. So neem to drink, neem to eat, everything has happened. Why? Because it's got a great antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory property. So it takes care of every scalp issue you have, every scalp irritation you have, along with dandruff, of course. Then tea tree oil, we've all used it on an acne at some point or the other, right? So we know that it's going to kill your bacteria, it's going to reduce the oiliness of the scalp, and it's also going to help your dandruff to kind of subside. So therefore, dandruff being a chronic irritation, it's nice when it is blended into an oil. So it gives you the hydration that you require, takes care of the scalp, along with ingredients that control the yeast, control the inflammation, and control the excessive bad oil secretions that can happen on your scalp. So this is a great blend. So therefore, here it is. All of the yarn that I gave you and why did I really pick this up to talk about today is because oil is something that I've already believed in. But people used to ask me, what can I mix with coconut oil? Doc, can I blend these three oils? Doc, do you think, you know, my mother soaks this overnight or they kind of decant it in oil? All of this I used to hear. And yes, all great ingredients and we know that these can be done. But if something is given to you on a platter, why not? And I've always been a great fan of addressing a concern, concern-based things. Even if you look at my supplement line, it is simply concern-based, right? So concern-based science-backed, two things, is what we all really like. And this is what it was. And a concept where it was blend properly, uh, cruelty-free, 100% natural, vegan. So all of these are concepts that I've always believed in. And therefore, today's video, for me to talk about this particular product, the Brillier range of oil shots, which are concern-based. And today we've discussed three concerns, hair fall, dandruff, and hair texture. I hope it helped.